Politics is a game that men play. They play it with people's lives. They play it with our lives. So you have certain governors and deputies defecting and so on. It's like where is the interest of the people that they're supposed to be governing in all of this back and forth run over here and there? And the response I got was the people. These people are playing a game by themselves. Why am I bringing this issue of political party defections at a sem uh, summit on security where the major concern is all about the abductions, the banditry, the farmer herder clashes, kidnapping for ransom, and other forms of violence which are ravaging our country and making Nigeria one of the most dangerous places in the world to be alive in at this time? Well, here's the point I wish to make today. That politics, as we all know, determines the overall quality of life or standard of living of the citizens of any country. And the ethical or moral standards to which those who exercise authority subscribe and are held accountable is directly proportional to the kind of life that we will live, that the citizens will enjoy, whether it will be peaceful and prosperous or insecure and poverty stricken. My point really is that the greatest threat to security, to the security of a people, of a nation, are terrible leaders. Leaders that do not have compassion for the people. That's the point I wish to make.